The next library is called Raven, and that's another piano. I mean, this is a kind of a different vibe from Eagle. Again, it has the same exact options when it comes to the interface. Let's try and select a more unconventional priest for this one. This is called Vibro Dub. <laughs> And a more conventional one, that's called a new beginning. Let's go to the interface. So it's multi-sampled, really, really nice. Again, you can make it hard or soft. Let's go to the next library. The next library is called Skylab, and it's my personal favorite. Skylab is basically a granular synthesizer, and basically it has amazing, amazing sounds in there for soundscapes, ambient sounds, cinematic sounds, basses, leads, electronic sounds. That's the interface, so let's try and play it. The mod will always does something. Really, really nice evolving sounds. Let's go to for something else. Maybe let's go to this. Um, let's see. Let's go for a synthetic sound this time. Bass X. Ah, oh, that's interesting. See, these are all the granules that it uses to synthesize the sound. So let's play this one. See, these are all the different grains that it uses to synthesize the sound. And of course, as you can see, everything is controllable. It's not just presets. You can really tweak the sound to your liking. Let's try something else. Maybe something that's a little bit more, you know, conventional, a bit more musical. Let's go to this uh, cinematic brass patch. And let's see how it sounds. <laughs> Again, the mod wheel controls dynamics texture. Let's see what I can do when I change. You see that even from a very, very traditional sound, you can get to a sound that's very, very interesting. It's very unpredictable. It's very random. You can create aleatoric effects with, you know, with Skylab. It's a really, really beautiful instrument. If I keep playing it, we're probably going to have five hours worth of video, so I'm going to go to the next library. The next library is called Studio Strings. It's basically a kind of... Um, dedicated string library in Hylian Sonic 3. There are loads of strings and of course you have all the libraries right there. As you can see the factory, the artist libraries, the basic, the hybrid, but Studio Strings is the newest addition and it's a dedicated strings library. Let's go and try some of the sounds. And of 
course, like all the other libraries, you can go here and just change um, the samples. So you can have crescendo, spiccato. So you have several types of spiccatos, uh, solo strings. Or chamber strings. Smaller ensemble. Great, now let's move on to the next library. Next library is called Trip. Trip is a virtual analog synthesizer. It has been around for a while. Let's try a few of the sounds. That's the interface. You, of course, have cutoff. You have three oscillators right there, you have a sub. It's a very, very powerful synthesizer. Let's try a few more sounds. Let's try a different sound that's called intrinsic fields. Let's go to the next library. The next library is called Trium. Again, Trium is a virtual analog synthesizer. As you can tell, in Hylian Sonic, there are quite a few synthesizers. So there are lots and lots of sound design possibilities. Let's try and select one preset from uh, Trium. That's how the interface looks like. Let's try it. It has a little bit of a different character. Let's try a few more sounds. This is a kick drum preset, apparently. And of course, you can completely change the sound. It has amazing filters. You can see that this is just one oscillator, but with a filter, you can create this kind of really, really nice kick drum sound. So very, very nice filters. Let's try a few other sounds. This is called electric strings. So really, really big sounding synth. You know, you have your arpeggiators there. You can change your uh, types for your oscillators. You have a sub oscillator. Very, very powerful synth. Let's move on to the next library. The next library is called Voltage. And that's a little bit of a more kind of vintage uh, analog synth again. Again, different, different sounds. Let's try something like this one. Dark Glide Bass. nice and smooth creamy filters and you can see that you know you have all the options again this is a little bit simpler but the sound is a little bit different to everything else let's try a few more sounds let's try sub bass deep finger bass is called this one maybe another sound Let's try this one. This is called Gentle Frequencies. Let's go for another sound. This is called Simply Vintage. And this one has an arpeggiator as well. 
and you can see how you can set up your arpeggiator very very sophisticated So as you can tell, Halion Sonic 3 comes with so many different scenes straight out of the box, all with a different character, Anima, um, your Skylab, your Auron, uh, Trip, Trim, Voltage, but the most important thing is you can really create your own sound. So if you go to Voltage, for example, let's go back, you can select Initial Voltage and it will give you a blank sound, a blank template. So with this one, you only have very fat sawtooth wave so you can start playing with the filters your envelopes so when you build your sound you just go and save it and then you can add it to the library it's very very cool there are two more libraries that I wanted to show you so this library is called World Instruments. If you remember this video that we did where we recreated the Game of Thrones theme in 20 minutes, we used some sounds from this library. So let's try a few of them. Let's try this Turkish Baklama. So you can see it has a very nice interface, so let's go and play it. <laughs> You know, for this one, I'm going to do something. Uh, I'm going to actually go to my slot number two, and I'm going to add some studio strings. Why don't we go and um, add the, let's see, maybe the full of feelings patch? And at first, you might not be able to hear it, but if you go to MIDI and make sure that your MIDI channel is set to one, then you'll be able to play both sounds at once. So let's go and try it out. <laughs> Next we have the Turkish Kanoon. And you can see I can trigger different samples by using the velocity. Let's try another Turkish sound. The great thing with world instruments is that you can also tune your instruments to an oriental scale. So for example, I'm going to go and detune the D and the A, and then we have a completely different color that's very, very authentic. So it's great that you also have these facilities right there. Let's try another sound. Finally, we have the World Percussions. This is a very interesting library as well for film composers, for people who do world music. It has some really, really nice percussion sounds. Let's try some of the sounds. Let's try the African Percussions. And as you can see, I also have different variations. So I can trigger a pattern right here. And then I can trigger variations. It's pretty much like B-Box and uh, it works in a very similar way, so very, very easy to use. Let's try a different sound. Let's try the Jembus.
Let's try something else. Let's try um, let's try the tongue drums. Or maybe some war drums. Let's add some reverb. And maybe, why not, let's try some of the Turkish percussion kits. They sound really, really nice. Now, as promised, let's go and play some of the combis. Uh, as you can see, there are quite a few sounds. These tend to have like a combination of all of the libraries that are included in Halion Sonic 3. Let's try a few of them. Let's try this one. This is called Soundtrack Ensemble. And as you can see, it has a hot brass layer, it has a Skylab, and another Skylab layer. So let's try this. <laughs> Let's try something else. Let's try this one. This is called Travelers. And as far as I can see, it has an anima, B-box, trim, and another trim. Let's see how this sounds. You can change the level of the drums. So again, you can completely customize, and of course, this you can assign to any MIDI keyboard that you have, any controller. Let's go for another sound. Let's go for this one, this is called Eagle Atmo, and as I can suspect, it has an eagle and Skylab, and another Skylab. Let's see how this sounds. This is called Chariot Keys. Let's see what it has. It has a Raven, it has a Voltage, and some studio strings. Chariot strings. Hmm. I'm wondering, what should I play with this one? This is called Space Orchestra. Some strings, Skylab. Yeah, let's do it. So there you go guys, that was Halion Sonic 3, as you can see loads and loads of possibilities when it comes to sound design and sound selection. It's big brother, Halion 6 offers even more and allows you to sample into the instrument, create your own wavetables, do granular synthesis, all those things. So if you want us to do a review about it, let us know in the comments down below and we'll make sure we do this as well. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. 
it's right here. And don't forget, we make new videos every week, so stay tuned. Thanks so much, see you in the next one.